Tonight, one company that's inside people's homes during what is already a stressful time, moving day. The co-founder tonight and president of College Hunks, a $130 million a year moving company, is Nick Friedman. He is with us live tonight as the moving industry moves into its busiest time of the year. Nick, it's good to see you. The busiest time of the year normally, of course. What about now? Yeah, so May is typically the busiest move month. Uh, usually the last weekend of May is the busiest move weekend. Uh, you know, we were expecting a record season for our 130 franchise owners and independent business owners all across the country. Uh, April, we saw about a 30% decline year over year when we were expecting to be a 30 to 40% year over year growth. May, that margin has, has improved a little bit. We're actually only down 10% year over year compared to 2019 numbers. So we're actually feeling very fortunate uh, that we're still able to operate as an essential business. People are still moving. People are still having junk hauled away, but it's certainly not the busy season uh, that our franchise owners were, were all anticipating. What have you had to do uh, as a result of just what's been going on in the overall environment to keep either the, the money coming in or keep your employees around? So a couple of things we've done, uh, obviously safety and trust and care for our clients is the most important thing. So uh, following CDC guidelines with protective gear, masks and uh, gloves, sanitizing our trucks uh, on a nightly basis, doing basically socially distanced estimates as well as virtual estimates. We also added uh, express driveway pickups where we can uh, pick items up off the, off the driveway if people don't want us in their homes. And the other thing we did with our excess capacity, because we've always been a very purpose-driven, socially conscious organization, and because we had excess uh, availability of our trucks and labor, we started offering free moves uh, for domestic violence victims uh, who are maybe stuck in situations that they wouldn't be able to get out uh, because of the sheltering in place order. So uh, really just evolving, adapting, and, and trying to remain as uh, nimble as possible during these unique times, I think, has been critical for us. Interesting. I'm reading you had a big jump in franchisee inquiries. Yeah? We did. You know, what's interesting is there's actually usually a bit of an inverse relationship between the employment market and interest in franchising because, uh, you know, when the employment and the economy is a little bit more uncertain, uh, the idea of starting a business for yourself, going into franchising, which allows you to be in business for yourself but not by yourself, uh, becomes a less risky proposition. Uh, our model is a very uh, sort of good, solid income replacement type of franchise opportunity for individuals. And so we've seen a really increase uh, in interest in franchise opportunities. We actually awarded seven new franchises in April, which was a record for any we've ever had, uh, five or six new franchises coming on board in May. And, you know, small business and franchising in particular is really the backbone of our economy. Uh, so that's something that we really need to try to continue to embrace and support uh, to make it through this to help build our economy back uh, into the uh, the success that we've had in, in most recent years. That's a very interesting anecdote. We need to continue to follow uh, that story, even as it relates to other businesses that, that have franchises. What is the current state of your business financially? You, you did get a PPP loan, correct? We did. We were fortunate as a, as a franchisor to, to land our PPP loan, and we made it sure that all of our independent franchise owners as well, about 75 percent of them at this point, uh, have gotten approved and or funded uh, for that loan, uh, which is critical because, you know, usually our franchise owners burn through a lot of their cash reserves during the, the winter months, gearing up for a really busy spring and summer season. Uh, and with the demand being a little bit leveled off relative to what we were expecting, uh, the cash flow is going to be a lot tighter. Keeping our staff employed is going to be a lot more difficult. And so we were very grateful and, and fortunate to uh, land those loans. And, and now hearing some of the news that's coming out about possibly the extension uh, of the requirements to be able to get forgiveness on those loans uh, has been really critical to keeping our franchises, uh, you know, trucks rolling and, and keeping their staff employed. Good to hear. Wish you well. We'll check in with you Thank again. You. That's Nick yeah, Friedman guys us. joining so us tonight. College Chunks, the co-founder and the president down in Tampa for us.